I want to move this disk image from backups to my SSD, which is where I have my Flux container. Here's how you do that. Hey there, so I moved my Flux nodes over to my Proxmox server. I used to have them on this little micro desktop, really it was just one, that I had running in Hyper-V. I wanted to spin up another one and do a comparison of Linux containers versus Linux VMs in Proxmox. So I'm running on that right now, gathering the information and data and footage and stuff that I need for, for the video. And I noticed my Linux VM is not really running any Flux services on it. I can see on the apps dashboard in Flux OS on my Linux container over here, this guy, yeah, this one, I've got folding at home. Somebody's running folding at home on my Flux container. But this one over here, my Flux VM, traditional Ubuntu server VM, doesn't have anything running on it. So I'm wondering, maybe it's something I set up. I don't know, it's passing the benchmarks, everything's fine. But while I'm over here looking through the hardware list of virtual resources, anyway, I get down here to hard disk and I realize this is running on my backup drive. I've got an external USB, six terabyte, just a plain old USB three hard drive, spinning disk, 7,200 RPM, whatever. So this was accidentally put on the backups drive, which I only want to utilize for backing up VMs and containers and settings and configs and things like that. Because I don't have a standalone server to back up the entire Proxmox server, I just want to back up what's important on a separate drive. It doesn't have to be fast, but it has to be there. I want to move this disk image from backups to my SSD, which is where I have my Flux container. Here's how you do that. First thing you're gonna have to do is you gotta shut down your server. Um, you can probably do a live migration, but it's really just best practice to shut it down, migrate data, stand it back up, right? So we come over here to shut down, and now we wait. Takes a little bit longer to shut down a traditional VM than it does a container. Containers are like, boo! VMs are like, boo! Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. Um, so you can tell it's it's completely shut down when our little green button here, like the little green play button here that's on the Flux container, it's gone away from our VM. Also, the start button is enabled and shut down all this is grayed out so you can't touch it. So how do we do this? Super simple. First thing, we're gonna click the VM in question, go down to hardware, single click your hard drive. Um, disk action drop down. you'll click that and go to move storage. Now, select our new target source. For me, it's gonna be local LVM, it's thin provisioned. That's where the container disk image is also stored. For now, I'm not gonna click delete source. I'm just gonna leave it there, make sure that it spins back up. Then I can go back into the backups drive or the drive where it currently lives and delete it later. We're putting this on a thin provisioned M.2 NVMe. So the fastest storage available for the flux nodes. Ding. And then we just hit move storage. Now we sit and wait. It's gonna pull the data off the USB drive and put it on the NVMe. And because it's going over USB, it's probably gonna take a little while. So we'll be back. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. It's already 1% done, 2% done. 3% done. Eventually. All right, and we're done. We're at 100%. Now we can see that our hard disk is at local LVM. All we gotta do is hit start. Open the console, we can see that it's starting up, going through the process. Boy, that looks familiar. Benchmarks are running, but essentially that's all you need to do to move your storage from one location to another. So we can confirm that it is completed by, so now we can go back into backups, go under VM disks, highlight it, hit remove. Wait a minute. The next evening. Here's the issue that I'm running into. So I was coming here to backups of this disk and hit remove. And here's the issue. Cannot remove an image, a guest ID with VM ID 201 exists. You can delete the image from the guest hardware plane. So coming over here to 201 under hardware, unused disk. There it is, backups 201, VM 201, yada yada. We can hit remove and yes, and it's gone. Now we can come back over here to backups and it's gone completely. So if you learned anything today, 
give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe. I make more videos like this all the time. I've got videos that are already made like this. If you want to go check those out. And of course, thanks for watching.